he lived for flying. You marry somebody in the Air Force, you marry the military and everything that comes with it. Jude Howcroft's husband Bill was killed in a flying accident behind the controls of his RAF tornado in 1998. In the months before his death, Jude recalls one particular conversation where her husband insisted if the worst ever happened, she had to try her best to move on with her life. Bill actually sat me down and said, right, we need to have a conversation. Things do happen, you've seen it. And I want you to promise me that if you fall in love again, you don't hold back and you live your life. For me and the kids. Seven years after Bill's death, Jude finally found love again and remarried. Official government policy meant she automatically lost her £7,000 annual war widow's compensation payment. But I have never stopped loving Bill. Ever. But the fact that I had to give up my pension, it was almost being judged that how dare I find love again. I clearly couldn't have loved my first husband. And it's, it just makes me so angry. In 2015, the government changed its policy, ensuring any war widow who remarried still received their war widow's pension. But hundreds who'd remarried before that date were not included. They are, they say, the forgotten widows. What's wrong? It's immoral. It's discrimination and the compensation, which is called the War Widow's Pension, is the only tangible link these individuals have to their late husband. Forty years after the death of her husband Ian aboard HMS Argonaut in the Falklands and although Margaret Allen remarried, she is still profoundly affected by his loss. She met the then Chief Secretary to the Treasury, Liz Truss, in 2018, who promised to right a wrong to ensure that war widows' pensions were restored. Margaret's now calling on the woman who may well be our next Prime Minister to make good on that promise. I would ask her to stand by that statement and resolve this now. It's almost seven years we have been campaigning to get this corrected. All we're asking for is parity with our peers. We've struggled, we've been traumatised and stressed for seven years. Enough is enough. We are the forgotten few. Our husbands paid the price, but that injustice remains. We're not asking for anything that isn't rightfully ours.